everybody, and welcome to Oh Good For You. My name is Simona, this is George, and this is where what? we are watching... American Psycho. Yeah. With Christian... Oh, Christian Bale. <laughs> okay, I get it. I know what you're talking about. Oh. I got that reference. Okay, so American Psycho. I guess it's different than Canadian Psychos? <laughs> or British Psychos, or... Ethiopian psychos? I don't know. What? <laughs> I have no idea. Why, like, why is it American Psycho? Isn't it referencing like the old movie Psycho? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, honestly don't know. But like, I think that's what I've heard. Yeah. It also uh, stars Reese Witherspoon. Ah. And Willem Dafoe. Those are two of the the greatest actor names of all time because there's these memes. So like Reese Witherspoon and Reese Without her spoon. Willem. Defoe and Willem yes. DeFriend. <laughs> You're like a mom who discovered Facebook just now. F*** you, George. <laughs> I get a kick out of those, okay? They're just so and, simple. And, and sending it to all her contact. Let's yeah. watch the movie. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, Christian Bale's gonna yell at you across a set <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I think that's blood. Did you know that water droplets aren't that shape? They're actually circular. <laughs> Did you know shut the f*** up? <laughs> <laughs> that's... That's... Ketchup! What did you say earlier? It was obviously what? Blood. <laughs> Ooh, duck. Ooh, a raspberry! <laughs> Overpriced food. But you really like salmon. <laughs> and fleurs. <laughs> <laughs> For entrees this evening, I have swordfish meatloaf with onion marmalade. Grilled free-range rabbit with herb french fries. Swordfish meatloaf? <laughs> Sounds wasteful if the swordfish <laughs> took a meatloaf out of. <laughs> You'd like to take a minute off your <laughs> Paul Allen's on the other side of the room over there. They don't have a good bathroom to do coke in. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that bastard sitting in his office talking on the phone to the CEOs. Oh, I forgot. Bateman's dating someone from the ACLU. <laughs> Only 570. Uh, okay, so they're they're just a bunch of rich schmucks. I guess, yeah. Coked up rich people. Mm -hmm. It does, does feel like his practice into Bruce Wayne, doesn't it? <laughs> the suit and the <laughs> fancy hair and the <laughs> fancy restaurants. I guess so. It's a cash bar. $25. Ugly bitch. Stab you to death. What the? F <gasps> Wait. Okay. So he okay. said all that stuff, and it like the shot was on his reflection. So does he have like a, it's a multiple personality sort of thing where like? No, the first half was on him when oh. he said you're a, you're a, yeah. Okay. But the stabbing stuff is in the reflection. I live in the American Gardens building on West 81st Street. I'm 27 years old. Okay. Is he miserable? Yeah, yeah. He's lame, miserable. <laughs> I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. <laughs> Jeepers. Okay. All right, Bale. <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> yes, keep shower, rubbing it. I use a water-activated <laughs> gel cleanser, and on the face, an exfoliating gel scrum. Then I apply an herb mint facial mask. How did these guys get my Saturday routine? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> there is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. But there is no real me. I simply am not there. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Look at those headphones! <laughs> Spencer wants to meet for drinks at Foodies, Pier 17. I need reservations for three at Camels. Something romantic? No. Be a doll and just get me a mineral water, okay? Do not wear that outfit again. Wear a dress, a skirt, or something. Yikes. Interesting. Psychopath, right? Inability to understand compassion or empathy, <laughs> egocentric. It's looking that way. Also, he said he wanted to stab someone earlier. That too. <laughs> well, we've all had those days. You know, you're in a long line waiting to get your coffee. The person in front of you make, starts deciding at the counter. Sometimes you just don't know until you're closer. <laughs> Oh. My supposed fiance keeps buzzing in my ear. And we'll have to get someone to videotape. We should have a wedding. No, I can't take the time off work. 
<laughs> hate that job anyway. I want to fit in. Whoa. Okay. I'm on the verge of tears by the time we arrive at a spot. A spot. <laughs> Hmm. This is my cousin Vanden and her boyfriend Stash. I'm certain that Timothy, Bryce, and Evelyn are having an affair. I'm having an affair with Ooh. her closest friend. Okay. Ooh. Usually operating on one or more psychiatric drugs. Tonight, I believe it's Xanax. <laughs> but she's engaged to Lewis Carruthers. Carruthers. Do you think Soho is becoming too commercial? That affects us. Well, what about the massacres in Sri Lanka? There are a lot more important problems in Sri Lanka. We have to provide food and shelter for the homeless while also promoting equal rights for women we have to promote general social concern wow it's uh, he pulled off that like rehearsed speech thing really well like he doesn't believe any of that he's just saying it yeah. as he said earlier to fit in <clears throat> or like that's supposed to be that's you're, you're supposed to say those things it's funny that like we know that he's a psycho mm -hmm. yeah like i don't believe him at all <clears throat> but he does it yeah i don't know Hello? Yeah, Are you trying to say bleaching? <laughs> oh my god, if you don't shut your fucking mouth, I will kill you. Crazy! You're a fool! I can't cope with this so, stupid bitchy! That's blood, right? Yeah. She, he killed that woman. Patrick, I thought that was you. Hello. Why can't they get these stains out? What are those? Cranberry juice. Cran Why wouldn't a super rich guy just buy new sheets? Maybe we could do lunch one day next week. Next Saturday? Sure. Can't. <laughs> You're dating Lewis. Jesus. He's in Arizona. You're fucking me, and we haven't made plans. Waiting for Lewis to call me. You're dating the biggest dickweed in New York. <laughs> just, just porn in the back. Said <laughs> Lydia's ass. <laughs> That's the title. I if can't. anyone's interested. <laughs> you. Oh my god, that sleep mask is amazing. Is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight? <laughs> is that just what he heard in his own head? I don't know. Kind of, that kind of sounded like Christian Bale. It kind of, yeah, it did. Is that Donald Trump's car? God, Patrick, shut up. Oh my oh. God, this poor woman. <laughs> this is Dorcia? Yes, dear. You're gonna have the peanut butter <laughs> soup. Thanks, Patrick. I guess that's why he's with her, because she, she's controllable. I guess. Completely. How on earth did you get a reservation there? Lucky, uh -huh. I guess. You look so soft. Your compliment was sufficient, Lewis. Wow. They all look like douchebags. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. New card. <laughs> it's a bit boring. Good coloring. That's bone. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> that is really nice. <laughs> okay, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Just such minute insignificant nice. detail that they're comparing dick sizes with. <laughs> I like I like Patrick's better. <laughs> Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. Oh my god. Wow. Pale Nimbus. White. Let's see Paul Allen's card. I'm trying to think of the word that describes these people, and I'm pretty sure it's yuppies. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. <laughs> what? This is beyond... Even a watermark. Yuppie. This is no. no this, like, everyone else is. He uh, he's a psychopath. Patrick. Oh no, I think all of them are beyond. Or maybe like a jab at yuppies, right? So it's like a bit exaggerated. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this social circle. Are people actually like this in these worlds? I don't know. I hope to never find out. Actually, <laughs> I don't really want to interact with people like this. I'm gonna make business cards and then send one to you. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? Uh... Money? You're so hungry, why didn't you get a job? I lost my job. Get a goddamn job! I'll help you. You are so kind. Please, you gotta tell me what to do. You know how bad you smell? You reek of shit. I don't have anything in common with you. Is he gonna kill him? I don't know. Like, when he first stopped, I thought he was, like, you know, faking doing, like, the right thing again. Like, being nice to the, it's the so guy and, like, loser you are. What? Hmm? helping him out. Oh my god! Oh, yep. And no one's gonna care, right? It's just like, who's gonna try to find out who killed a homeless guy? I have all the characteristics of a human being, but not a single clear, identifiable emotion. Something horrible is happening inside of me. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. About to? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Just kill the homeless guy oh and then god. stomp the dog to death. Oh my god. 
Ugh. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Is Ugh. Alan still handling the Fisher account? My ex is Harry. Mm. Oh my god, it's a pig! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what it. Oh, darling pets, don't you? I love oh, they feel really pigs. big. Oh yeah, they need lots of space outside. But and then they get right. abandoned. What does Mr. Grant want Sometimes for they Christmas? don't. Sometimes they live on a happy little hobby farm for the rest of their lives. Yeah, like a certain terrible Alan, person on YouTube done recently. What? We should have dinner. Well, then let's do it, Marcus. Marcus Halberstram for two at seven. Would you like to hear the specials? Not if you want to keep your spleen. And that is how you get spit in your food. Yep. Is that Ivana Trump? Jeez, Patrick. <laughs> I mean, Marcus. Weird. Uh-huh. Different name. Well, I could tell you that, Halberstram, but they don't have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Joker. Oh my god. This Did Batman will kill you. <laughs> uh, where do you stand? Salon. Uh, uh, Cecilia. Having dinner with Evelyn Williams. Great ass. Goes out with that loser. <laughs> hey, I've seen that picture. Oh my god. <laughs> oh uh, shit. Uh, He's dying. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. When sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own. The whole album has a clear. Oh, oh my god. He's been compared to Elvis Costello. Why are the copies of the style section on the page? Him dancing into the room with an axe is kind of funny. It's weird uh -huh. that it's funny. Is that a raincoat? <laughs> Song so catchy. Song so catchy. <laughs> hey, Paul! Ah! Oh! Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wow. I mean, Huey Lewis is... It's real good. <laughs> wow, okay. I feel bad that that was really entertaining. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus. What? If there's no blood, look. I mean, maybe that's just a continuity error? Hmm, I don't know. It feels deliberate. This <laughs> is my very good friend, Patrick Bateman. Where did you get that overnight bag? Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's weird that everyone around him is just oblivious, like the doorman and like his friends and stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. I used the keys I took from his pocket before disposing of the body. I realized that Paul's apartment obviously more expensive than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Paul to take a little trip. When you see someone you work with moving something really heavy, you just don't think body first. Especially I always when you're in... think body. <laughs> I don't know about you, man. Okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> but like, okay, sure. But like in... You know what I mean, though? Like, Paul. especially yeah. in this London level of days. upper Meredith. echelon. Mm. Oh, <laughs> this song's so great. <laughs> so basically, all the music he enjoys is evil. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, Patrick is just... But, uh, whoa. <laughs> Tell him I'm at lunch. It's only 10.30. I think he knows you're here. There are definite do's and don'ts, good buddy, of hey, wearing a bold striped go. shirt. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yes, always tip the uh, stylist 15%. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> investigate the disappearance of Paul Allen. Coffee? Mm, no, I'm okay. Polinars? No. A bottle uh, of no, a Polinar? No, really, I'm okay. It's no problem. I, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lime? No, really, I'm okay. You sure, I can always get you alive. Is he buying himself time to think about things while? Maybe. He was part of that whole Yale thing. Yale thing. Yeah, Yale thing. <laughs> Where did he go to school? Yale. Did you know this? <laughs> For Yale, if I remember correctly, St. Paul's. Has anyone seen him in London? Actually, yes. Hmm. Wait, someone did see him in London? I mean, we know that's not true. I mean, no one's dealing with the Homicide Squad yet or anything, right? No, not yet. <laughs> People just disappear. You'll have to excuse me. I have a lunch meeting. Anything else occurs to you? Any information? I Absolutely. Have. I'm 100 percent with you. <laughs> oh shit! Now what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh. He's just watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is that? Is that what that is? I think so. Yeah. Oh Jesus. The guy's holding a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> he has a mask. So I was trying to think of a way to talk about how. The Green Goblins being a detective against the world's best detective. <laughs> mm. You'd like to see my apartment? I'm not supposed to, but I can make an exception. Get in. Well, she's dead. Yeah. And that usually the victims, homeless people and prostitutes. Mm. Right. 
the ones that society don't really care about. Like a girl, early well, 20s. Well, except for blonde. the guy that he was jealous of. Yeah, that's the only one, yeah. That, but that seems like, yeah. Paul Allen. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh my god, this song is good too. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to clean your vagina. Get on your knees. Christian Bale's control of his face is so good in this. The emotions of the emotionless. Mm hmm and how quickly he goes from like Christy, slight chuckle to yeah. nothing. Yes, yes, I noticed that. Come and meet me and our guest in the living room for drinks. It kind of reminds me of Joker when Joaquin Phoenix, mm. you know, goes ha 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 and then nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really funny. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna call you Sabrina. Don't you want to know what I do? No. No, not really. You have a really nice place here, Paul. I can assure you, it certainly wasn't cheap. He's using Paul's name. Is he gonna like kill one of them and leave the other one to like? That's my guess. But, uh, yeah, so that it's very that's memorable. A very fine Chardonnay. But they like the face though, right? Because they they can just you know sketch artists. Mm. <laughs> I really didn't understand any of their work. I think Invisible Touch is the group's undisputed masterpiece. Christy. Take off the road. You can practically hear every nuance of every instrument. What the hell is happening? I think he's filming his murder. Sabrina, why don't you uh, dance a little? In Too Deep is the most moving pop song of- Oh God, oh God. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. Sabrina, don't just stare at it, eat it. Oh God, is he gonna go get his weapon? No. Personal favorite. I'm so disturbed that he and I have the same no. taste in music. <laughs> Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to the movie. Jesus. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Egomaniacs, right? Yeah. He's just looking at himself. <laughs> I am still just waiting for the kill. Like, I know. Who... Maybe it's... It doesn't? Yeah. Oh, no, here we go. Ah, crap. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not a kill that's good, but I guess, yeah, now they will remember, right? This this guy, Paul Allen, yeah. You know what Ed Gein said about women? Maitre d'A canal bar? No. Serial killer. <laughs> My business card. That sound, it's almost like every time they do it, it's like unsheathing a sword. Like it's their weapon. It's, yeah, it's something. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's got a nicer <laughs> business card, and now he's dead. What's the matter? No shiatsu this morning? Touching me like that. Oh, my God. Oh, the gloves. Right here in the public that's, place? Yeah, that seems... You can't imagine how long I've wanted this ever since that Christmas party. I want you Interesting. to... Interesting. Okay. Patrick, I've got to return some video tape. <laughs> that guy has no self-preservation. <laughs> this is someone's hand around your neck and you go, oh, I want you to. <laughs> I mean, it saved his life. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you remember where you were the night of Paul's disappearance? What? <laughs> I had a date with a girl named Veronica. When was the last time you were with Paul Allen? We'd gone to a new musical. How about lunch in a week or so? Here we Lewis in the news. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't really like singers. Lunch next week? I'll be there. It seems too, like, too much of a coincidence. Like, seems to be going about it really weirdly. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Has suspicions. Yeah. yeah. Will you call me before Easter? Maybe. <laughs> never knew you smoked. You never noticed. Can we talk? There's nothing to say. If I don't see you before Easter, oh. have a nice one. Oh. This poor woman. Mm-hmm. Patrick? Yeah? Nothing. Was this before the hotlines existed? I feel like at some point the blood's gonna spray from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody's gonna bare their fangs. theory now, the fucking milligram of sweet. Keep it down, I'm trying to do drugs. Steroid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Jesus. I don't know how to pinpoint what I'm feeling about this movie, but I'm enjoying it. I just, yeah, I don't know how to Yeah, I know, it. it's... So what do you do? Murders and executions, mostly. Most guys I know who work in mergers and acquisitions. Oh, mergers and acquisitions. No, he definitely said murders and executions. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm dumb, don't you? I really don't. That's okay. I don't mind. Is it weird? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a long I have heard that psychopaths are very attractive to people. Oh, she's dead. People find them attractive, right? Well, because they're it's like a false sense of confidence. Like women, I mean, they exude confidence, right? Need any and, help? Yeah. And they always know what to say exactly because they practice it or something. Do you like to accompany me to dinner? Listen, where should we go? How about anywhere you want? Say Dorcia. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna push him over the edge. You say it, I can get us in anywhere. What about... Oh my god, she is gonna say it. Dorcia? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh... Is it just gonna be like cackling again? We're totally booked. Really? That's great. No, I said... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give a name. They know me. <laughs> we'll want to change before we go out. Oh, this oh poor... God. <laughs> They're never gonna make it, right? Cause... Patrick, it's so elegant. She yeah, no. Just he would just pretend. Yeah, yeah, no. <gasps> oh, wow. Sorbet? Jesus. You look great. Very fit. Is that sorbet drugs or something? Really so she can't run away. Ugh. I'd like to travel and maybe go back to school. You have a boyfriend. No, not really. You feel fulfilled? I guess I do. So, it's just trying to decide know, what weapon. That's... Developing and... Ted Bundy's first dog was named Lassie. Who's Ted Bundy? <laughs> <laughs> Flee, girl. Run. No, put it in the carton. Oh God, what did he grab? <gasps> oh, oh yes, you could say it's a nail gun, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pick up the phone, you bad boy. You never called me, and you said you would. And I'll leave a message for Gene. I like that he doesn't even bother trying to like stop it or anything, because normally in any <laughs> other movie this would be like the worst thing possible. In like a. Bye, Mr. Big Time CEO. Are you still seeing her? Do you want me to go? I don't think I can control myself. Like, he's talking about murder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Do you want me to go? go just, I want you, you to should, go, yeah, please. Yeah, please go. I think I might hurt you. I don't want to get bruised. <sighs> That's some good f writing. Oh my god. Did he just have, like, framed, like, just nothing, like, in... In frames. <laughs> I, I've seen this at an art gallery for thirty thousand dollars. It's called Gray on Gray, and it's just a piece of drywall on a gray Amazing. canvas. The night he Amazing. disappeared for thirty grand. Any new thoughts? <laughs> he had dinner with Marcus Helberstrom, and he denies it. Though at first he couldn't be sure. Does Marcus have an alibi? I checked it out. It's clean. Where were you? I'm surprised he's willing to share this much information. Even from the first meeting, it seems so obvious that like. Yeah. Well, maybe he did go to London. Sightseeing, drinking, whatever. To think that one of his friends killed would be too ridiculous. What if Willem Dafoe's character is really just that bad of a detective? Mm. And he being, you know, the guilty conscience, right? Like, overthinks it. Mm -hmm. I had to go to emergency after last time. Oh my god. Just come in the limo and talk to me for a minute. Well, I actually might need a little surgery after last time. Oh my god. Here's a check. That check's gotta be bogus, right? Oh, if he's still using. It yeah, Paul's it wouldn't name. work. He would, he's not gonna put his own name on there. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh god. I think I met you at the surf bar, didn't I? You know, surf bar. Ugh. Shit, here we go. Where did you two meet? Oh god, at the Kentucky Derby in 85. What do you do? She's my cousin. Where do you summer? Southampton? <laughs> Where do you summer? Oh my god. This tastes weird. I'm at Paul Norman's and I'll try you again later. <laughs> Paul Norman. I would just like to say to you, get it on. Do you find Christy attractive? I think it'd be a turn on. Christy, you're not drinking your wine. Yeah, she's not touching it. Yeah, she saw oh. him put shit in it, didn't she? No, no, no. He was in the kitchen. Is that a lesbian? Counter behind. I thought he was just right there. No, no, no. Like, he's not going to do anything because she knows You're his real, like, who he really is. Unless they're both dead. You own a Winnie Houston CD? It's hard to choose a favorite among so many great tracks. I can't tell if he's faking this part message. of it. That's the thing, yeah, like, I, I'm trying to grasp why he's doing these monologues about albums. Mm -hmm. Is it to throw well, off people? Just the victims? Or, I don't you know. know. Viewers, what do you think? Mm-hmm. That's beautifully stated on the album. Oh, she's gonna sneak out. Oh God. Yes, run, run, run. Oh no! What the f 
I was actually thinking earlier. <gasps> oh my god. Ah, no. Ew. He's just moved on to full cannibalism. Holy shit. <laughs> this would normally be such an enjoyable scene, but <laughs> What? <laughs> what do you mean? Just, just a naked. <laughs> uh! Is he aiming? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he's gonna drop it. He's gonna drop it. But that's it, right? He's, he's, there's no getting away from this after that. Like, how are you gonna clean all this up? And she knocked on every door. Shit, that looks good. <laughs> I need to engage in homicidal behavior. I'm sorry I brought up the wedding. Let's just avoid the issue, all right? I don't think we should see each other anymore. Something. I know that your friends are my friends. What about the past? We never really shared one. You're not terribly important to me. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. What is it that you want? I'm leaving. But where? To return some videotapes. Is that his cohort for like getting rid of bodies? I don't know. Okay, but when he says like the stuff that's actually going on, like the murder stuff, mm -hmm. is it people that just like just aren't paying attention or does is it in his head when that stuff's being I don't said? No, yeah, because it's so blase about it. Like, I mean, he's drawing it on the table. But is it maybe just yeah. like the fact that people in his world just don't kitty, kitty, kitty. give a shit or pay attention to anything, right? Oh, God, like don't everyone... hurt the cat. Don't hurt the cat. What? What the fuck? <sighs> okay, yes, please get this. I need somebody to catch him. <gasps> Jesus. <gasps> what? That... No, this can't be. No. Yeah, even he doesn't believe it. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> Why did the cars explode? Is it still just a movie thing? The tone doesn't feel right for a car to just explode. Mr. Smith. Jesus! What? It's the same building. No, they're just all identical. <laughs> or is it the, like the Twin Towers or something? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so then the car did just explode <laughs> from a pistol. <laughs> then. It's gone too long of a sequence for it to not be real anymore, right? I'm Patrick Bateman, you're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some homeless people, maybe five or ten, um... Five or ten? I killed Paul Allen with an axe. I have, uh, tapes of a lot of it. I ate some of their brains. <laughs> oh. oh my god! I'm not sure I'm gonna get away with it. I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. I made you up at Harry's bar. Keep your eyes open. Wow! Good delivery. Good line delivery. Oh yeah, Christian Bale is is top notch. But that was amazing. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, so earlier in the bed under the sheets he like bit that other woman, right? Yeah. Just bite into her. When his when his head pulled up and he's like got blood around his mouth, I was I was thinking at that moment and throughout the whole film, yeah. how vampires portrayed in films are so similar to like the psychopath that he is you know? oh. <laughs> like exudes confidence but it has like yeah this bloodlust and it's both terrifying and sex appeal <laughs> why does he need a mask is it because of all the like, dead bodies yeah, rotting bodies oh no wait Huh? That's where the, like, there were people hanging in the closet, right? Yeah. Can I help you? You saw the ad in the Times? Yeah. There was no ad in the Times. I want to know what happened there. I suggest you go. Don't come back. W would a real estate agent really be unhappy if a, un <laughs> you know what I mean? Like someone who looks like they can really afford <laughs> this place show up without appointment? <laughs> Maybe it is just in his head, eh? If that was the place. I need help. Patrick, is that you? Don't think I'm gonna make it, G. Is it drawings? What? I don't know, man. I couldn't really read the writing. It was really, mm -hmm. like, messy, so... Well, there was some sort of, like, doodle. Was, yeah. Of a, of a woman getting shot in the mouth, yeah. 
Bateman, you're looking a little wild eyed, rough day at the office. Right. Need a reservation for 8 30. Did you get my message? That was hilarious. That was you, wasn't it? By the way, Davis, how's Cynthia? Davis? Your joke was amusing. Bateman is such a dork. What? Oh, wow. So nobody knows who I he really actually is, even. He's not even Patrick Bateman to most um, people. I killed him. I really must be going now. I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. You're my lawyer. I killed Paul Allen. Okay, I'm. Okay. What? <laughs> it's Why gotta be it on his head. It's just not. Why? Mm -hmm. I've seen that as a meme before. I <laughs> Paul Allen twice now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, it's all imagining, but yeah. I guess he's not even sure who he is anymore. Okay, so it's all fantasies. The eventual blessing in disguise to come out of the Iran Contra mess. I mean, I'm not really hungry, but I'd like to have reservations someplace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a happy camper, rocking and a rolling. He presents himself as this harmless old codger. But inside doesn't matter. What do you think? Whatever. There are no more barriers to cross. My pain is constant and sharp. I want my pain to be inflicted on others. There is no catharsis. <laughs> no new knowledge can be extracted from my telling. <laughs> what? I need to watch this again and pay more close attention to the, all the names that were thrown around. Because yeah. I... Holy shit. <laughs> the the mockery of that culture, that lifestyle aside, that like I feel like that's the only thing that's obvious. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like at the very end there, when he's talking about how he wants to inflict that pain that he has towards everybody else, mm -hmm. that all this fantasy that he's had up to this point and him realizing it was all fantasies is his like final break, right? Into like, I don't know, psychosis. Mm -hmm. And now after the movie is where he's going to actually go and kill people. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's what it felt like to oh me. Oh my god. Um, but it's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So, so he didn't actually kill any of those people. So that's no, good. No. No. That makes a lot more sense with the car explosion. Why he looked confused at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At his gun. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think of all the all the events that occurred and how they played out. Like the running into two different lobbies that were almost identical looking. Mm -hmm. But was it the same security guard? That's the part that I didn't catch. No, it was a different security guard. In the second, okay. like it was, yeah, two, the, the buildings look the same, different security guard. One, yeah. one version, he pulls out a gun and shoots him. The other version, he pulls out a pen and signs into his office building. Right, right, right. And then hides in his office under the desk and makes the phone call to his lawyer, who is not yeah. his lawyer, who thinks he's Davis? Yeah, someone named Davis, yeah. Yeah, and then when he went into the wrong building, he called him Smith. Yeah. When he went out for dinner with Jared Leto, he, he was Marcus. And then Reese Witherspoon calls him Patrick. Yeah. His, and I guess his his couple of friends calls him Patrick. Yeah. Because we saw his business card. It said Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. But then uh, Jared Leto like, and the lawyer both think he's someone else and both think that Patrick Bateman is like just an idiot. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's a more of a, a person, like a, like a, actual multiple personality i think maybe he's just like he's a psychopath oh but all, yeah like a, and a compulsive liar and he's gotten so mixed up in it that he doesn't know which one is which anymore yeah and no i don't think it's what. i don't think it's multiple personalities i think yeah all right. uh that's a wrap on this episode of cinebinge thank you everybody for joining us yeah thank you patrons for helping us keep doing this and shout out mm -hmm. to ape and andy carlos in charge az10 always dead uh bacon narwhal 310 bandit 5x5 baron martin uh ben am blips brendan mang Chernal, uh alpha christopher b swanson crow mm -hmm. dan weeks uh daniel warburton david atcher draco argentum drew atchison eric gray fat medford the squid gleeful turtle j and jacob arch 78 thank you Woo. all very Thanks, much everybody. you rock See you next time. Also, Genesis is awesome.